So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the truck of the day. And there is my trailer. At the moment, they're still loading my trailer. I need to wait, but till then, I need to go and do my checks. I'm working for APC overnight tonight. Parts the deliveries, and this truck, it's 500 horsepower which is very powerful. So what I do is when I start the work, before getting the truck, I grab the keys, put the keys in the contact, get in. For click driver. So after I get in the truck, grab my wallet, grab my taco card, put the taco card in, or is it a chip up? I do a manual entry. Welcome, Dolna. Last we draw, okay. Rest until now, no. Add manual entries, yes. End of the shift was 5.58, yes. And country, United Kingdom, yes. So I was on rest, on the bed, till 18.00. So don't forget, this is how you do a manual entry. Beginning of the shift at 18.00, 23rd of 8, 18.00, beginning of the shift, beginning country, United Kingdom. So I was, from 18.00 I was on hammers, which is other work till 18.13, entries print out, we don't need, confirm entries, yes, ready to drive, and we need to put ourselves back on other work. So this is how you do a manual entry, very easy, it's not complicated whatsoever. And after I insert the card in, I do all the VO checks, I check, first of all I go to vehicle, monitoring data, engine oil, the engine oil is ok, exit, battery voltage, ok, brake pads, 75% both sides ok, reservoir pressure, ok, operating data, Okay, service. Okay, diagnosis, control units. Okay, I don't know what's this to be honest. The check lamps, I know the red symbols are there, but this is how you control the you know if everything is working correctly. So, this is the red symbols, this is the yellow ones. exit vehicle data you don't need this but you can check stuff after you do all this I give a key uh, you can start doing your you know the lamp test and everything from here but Sometimes I press it, it says light test, I mean I get out, it doesn't record anything, it doesn't do anything, but let's check if it does now. Oh, you see it does nothing. I don't know why, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but what I used to do is, just turn the lights on, hazards on, get out and this is how I check the lights are working the full beam this truck uh, I was the last one who used the, this truck so I know everything is all right I know this is wasn't me every light is working correctly I just need to check the brake lights which I'll show you how I check the brake lights check the tires you know the, all the wheel nuts everything is all right don't forget to check the clip 
all this that need to be there. Everything, you know, everything. Tires, everything to be all right, you know. And how I do check the brakes, I'll show you right now. I used to put my number plate here, but it's not here. Oh, this is not my usual orange truck. <laughs> the number plate is here in this compartment. It was here, what? Oh, it's there. So as you see, the brakes are working, everything is working as it should. Look at that nice van. After I take off, put it back. Put the seat all the way back. Switch off engine. What I'll do it. Check the horn, check the wipers, working, checking mirrors, both sides, working. And of course, don't forget to do your brake test, which is you put it in drive, release the handbrake and go a bit forward and press the brake. That's it, go backwards. Press the brake, good, working, hand, hand brake on, neutral, shift off. That's it. I switch this off, switch off lights, open the door because it's bloody hot. And briefly, this is how I do my checks. So, after setting up my camera, which is over there, you see you are there. <laughs> I I set up my everything, my charge, my phone charger, my TomTom -tom sat nav, and I will show you how to search for an address. Very easy how to search for an address. It's very easy if you follow my guidelines how I do it it was always very beneficial for me I try to say I try to tell to some uh, because you here in Britain uh, you don't use coordinates I spoke with a lot of my other colleagues you know with, with British colleagues and of course the British ones I mean who they who who were born here and who they are, you know, they are fully British uh, or Welsh. And when I was telling them about coordinates, they were like, what are those? I mean, they know what are the coordinates, but they say, oh, we don't work with coordinates. And I said, but it's the easiest, it's the easiest way to work with. Like, it's really easy. It's really pretty easy how to work with coordinates. But I'll show you how I do it how I search for addresses and they take you straight to the point okay so this is the place where I need to go I hope you see it better you know on the, on the GoPro but anyway it will give you an insight how I search for an address so this is the place where I need to go it's APC online national Sort sortation center which is in Cannock uh, I think it's North Birmingham yes it's uh, North Wolverhampton actually it's next next to Lichfield and so this is where I need to go this is the entrance 
as you see I'm looking for the entrance this is the gatehouse this is the entrance okay this is the road so what I'll do is I'll put a pin there what I do is I'll actually look on street view all right so here it is da, da, da. I'm looking on the street view seeing truck or oh, APC or oh, here it is I'm looking oh there's the gatehouse and this is what I need to look for so that's it so what I'll do is go out and I'll type these numbers which are the coordinates into the sat nav so I'll, I'll do that straight away now which is 52 I go to search whole map uh, latitude and longitude and it's 52 dot six seven two five five four six seven two five five four space minus two is it yeah dot triple zero 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 four two nine four two nine I press that and I make sure that I check it's uh Blake Blakeney Way, I, I hope I pronounced correctly, Blakeney Way, Canock, and I'm looking that here is a roundabout, it's a secondary road which is not suitable for HGVs apparently, and so I'm looking there and I'm going back here on the Google Maps, and here it is, that's the secondary road what it shows me which is an inside of industrial place, industrial site but there it is roundabout and Bla Blackney, Blackney Way uh, it's the thing but on the Google Maps it shows me that it's Kingsbourne Lakeside Employment Park but but this is it you see Black, Black, Blackney Way so that's what I'm looking for I press drive the vehicle type is 495 because the the trailer so the trail is 16 foot 3 so it's 4 meters 95 and you put all the the things that you need to put the max speed I used to put 53 miles per hour because it's better to be like that now here it is what I want to show you with Tom Tom and I really need to be aware of this it's not the first time when it does this I updated the map everything is alright and it won't take me to Hnachli it won't take me through uh, Hnachli whatsoever it won't take me through Burryport and I think because apparently apparently here somewhere here or here somewhere it shows me that it's a seven and a half ton limit and it's not and I show you why you see why because that seven and a half ton or the block road it's right it goes straight on the road and the TomTom -tom recognizes that that little bit it's restricted area I don't know why TomTom -tom doesn't fix that I will send them an email you see this one look this is it look it goes straight on the road so I need I need to tell this to Tom Tom because for a 400 pound sat nav it shouldn't do this look this one as well and it shows you that it's a restricted road so it won't take me through there but I know that I can go to look otherwise it would take me through look come on it will take me through Camarden which I'm not a stupid to go to Camarden but if you don't know the roads maybe you would go that way because you would think oh the 400 pound sat nav won't take me through that maybe it's because it's a low bridge or something but it's not it's nothing you can go it's no low bridge no restrictions and whatsoever but yeah just need to be aware of this after I just put drive I know the road I know where I'm at you see your destination is on block road it's not on block road but that's just the way it is the because here it says you know it's block road link but that's just the way it is I will connect my media to my internet to the TomTom -tom. and yeah basically this is how you search for address 
and hopefully that helps you know it helped a lot of drivers so far and they told me that yeah it, it works it works out and it's you know it's a better what the hell is going on oh bloody lance yeah and it helped you know a lot of drivers a lot of drivers they said yeah it works you know it works pretty well so i hope it works it to you as well so see you in a bit Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's go and heat up. I don't really record when I heat up, I just record when I'm going down stuff like this, but it's nothing nothing special, it's just a double backer. And yeah, it's nothing really special about it. Just that it's taller, you know, that's the another thing that I can say about it. How about you, right? Let's reverse on there. Let's go and connect everything. 